Assalamualaikum and good day to everyone. Okay, uh, today we are going to learn about writing, essay writing. Yeah, all right. Okay, uh, talking about writing. Okay, writing skill is uh, one of the most challenging tasks uh, for some students because it require uh, more your knowledge. Uh, it is the brainstorming of the ideas and also it challenges your vocab uh, and then it, it also needs you to provide a lot of information and also uh, the styles of writing and so on. Okay, alright. Okay, uh, okay, we go to the next one. Okay, okay. Uh, since writing is one of the the most challenging uh, skill, okay, because uh, you it is it, it involves only one way communication uh, between the author and readers, and if the readers do not understand, they can't ask ask the the, the authors. Okay, that's why the authors need to provide a good uh or the perfect one, okay, the perfect writing to make sure to ensure that the uh, or the readers can understand, can get the message, okay, what uh, the author want to deliver to the readers. Okay, the writing process involves of four uh, stages. Okay, first one is brainstorming, the second one planning, the third one writing, and the last one is editing and review. Alright, can we go one by one? Okay, brainstorming is once when you get the topic, right? Uh, the topic, the dangers of using handphone among uh, school students. Okay, and then okay, uh, the topic. So you, you should know, you should understand the topic very well. In order to come up with the point, you usually need to have at least three points to elaborate and you come out. Uh, then you find the uh, subtopics. I mean, the point spotting, spotting details, uh, to support the points. Yeah, and then uh, planning maybe uh, from uh, the ideas just now we just select the the most uh, strongest point the three most strong points points and you can determine which one will be the first point the second and the third point okay in the body usually uh, in the outline of writing okay, it will be a uh, three parts uh, three uh, three parts of writing uh, first part is for introduction and introductory paragraph. The second one is for body, and the last one is for uh, conclusion. <coughs> okay, so you have planned it very well to make sure that you put everything, the example, the examples, either to support, and maybe you can use the example of statistics or the evidence to support your writing. Yeah. Okay, and next one is uh, writing. You, you start to transfer from the outline to the writing. You start to write. Uh, your essay and then you write it maybe uh, usually there will be five uh, paragraph of a uh, normally uh, five paragraph of uh, essay writing okay don't forget that you, you have to write it properly okay uh, and then lastly is the process for editing or review it can be reviewed by your peers your, your friends it can be from your lecturers uh. okay so we go to the next one. Okay, we go to uh, what is extended writing? Huh? <clears throat> it is a longer essay that is more than 250 words. <coughs> that it is less than 300 words. Okay, in this form of writing, you have an entire paragraph to introduce the essay as opposed to one sentence in one paragraph, right? I mean that you have, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> you will have more room to write, okay? Five, at least five paragraphs of writing, okay? All right, it gives more room for creativity in the presentation of the presenter idea, yes. <coughs> Okay, just like what I mentioned just now, okay, you need to have at least uh, five paragraphs. Okay, for the first uh, paragraph is for introduction. Okay, uh, three body paragraph. 
okay and also one paragraph for conclusion okay for introduction you may start with uh, opening sentences and then uh, write thesis statement opening sentences is the sentence that you can grab the attention of the, re the readers okay? we come up with the statement uh, questioning maybe you can come up with the quotation okay there are many interesting ways actually uh, how to start the uh, introduction how to start your essay writing okay body paragraph okay uh, for each par body paragraph need to have one topic and some the details and then concluding sentence it is uh, optional okay one topic a sentence you have to write a sentence properly Okay, to become a, a the a the topic sentence is the main point of the paragraph. Yeah, of the paragraph one, body paragraph one, body paragraph two, and body paragraph three. And lastly, a conclusion. Okay, for conclusion, you have to reaffirm the thesis statement. You mention again what the thesis statement is all about, and then summarize the main points. Yeah, properly. All right. Okay, there are a few types of essay. Okay, uh, okay, first one is expository. I think you have done this before. Okay, you have done this before a lot when you did your diploma last time, or maybe during uh, be before this, before uh, the class, before this, uh, when you went primary or secondary school. Okay, uh, argumentative essay. Mm, this is quite challenging. Essay because you have to uh, provide your ideas and refutations, okay, refute uh, the author's okay the author's point, yeah, and then uh, problem solution. The problem uh, the topic is how to solve uh, a solution uh, regarding to a problem, okay, and then cause effects essay and lastly compare and contrast. All right. Okay, we go to okay. Uh, for your class, okay, you are going to write an expository essay, which you can you provide more information. It is a, a straightforward, where where the question uh the topic given to you like the dangers of using handphone among students, or maybe about the uh role of uh, social media medias uh, to, to overcome uh, depression okay maybe it, the topic is very straightforward okay all right okay we go to do to develop how to develop a, a thesis statement okay it's now for introduction okay uh, you have to write a thesis statement okay what is thesis statement thesis statement is a sentence that shows the controlling idea of a piece of writing Okay, it is the focus of the writing and it should be specific. It must be specific. One sentence only. Okay. Alright. Okay, poor thesis statement are those which are too general or ambiguous. Okay. Your thesis statement must be clear. Okay. okay it normally comes at the end of the introductory paragraph. Yes. Okay. Uh, it is in the first paragraph, but it, it is in the last sentence of in the introductory paragraph. Okay, uh, this is the sample of this statement. Okay, uh, read uh, the paragraph. Okay, uh, you can get this one. Okay. Okay, a uh, sample of this statement. Okay, online shopping seems to be all the rage at the moment. This form of shopping has become so popular that it is giving shopping malls a run for their money. One of the most established and well-known online shopping website is eBay. Okay, shopping on eBay is popular because there is a wide range of products to choose from. It is convenient. Okay, and they are a large number of sellers to do business with. Okay, I think you know about what is eBay, but last time we call it eBay. Nowadays, it is we call it as online shopping. So this uh, uh, introductory paragraph discuss about online shopping. Okay, online shopping. I I don't think that eBay is popular nowadays because nowadays we have a lot of uh, shop online shopping websites like Shopee, Lazada. Uh, Apple, Zalora, 
okay so ro and so on okay there are so many okay i don't think that you know about ebay but last time it, it was very famous okay okay so but what it is want to highlight is uh shopping on ebay is popular because you need to come out uh why uh shopping on ebay is popular because okay uh, it is there is a wide range of product to choose from it is convenient and there are a large numbers of sellers to do business with right okay meaning that uh okay in once this one sentence it contains of three points okay three points already okay we go to next Okay, this, this statement is made out of three points. Shopping eBay is popular because there is a wide range of product to choose from. And it is convenient. And the third one, there are large number of sellers to do business with. Okay, mean, it means that in your essay, you are going in the body paragraph of your essay. You are, for body paragraph one, you will explain about a wide range of product to choose from okay for body paragraph two you are going to to explain about it is uh, ebay is is convenient and the last one okay large number of sellers to do with right so meaning this is the point meaning that uh, this statement is the uh, you mentioned the you uh, you give the view of the main ideas that you are going to explain in your uh, body paragraph okay okay for example the other examples in the in the thesis statement you must first come up with an outline of the essay yeah okay uh, you need to know uh, the content i mean the points for example the topic working in group is better than, than working alone is it okay Okay, if you agree with the topic, okay, you need to come up with the points. Okay, the points given enables more input, able to engage various expertise, and the last one will complete it faster. Hmm. So, these three points that you agree that working uh, in groups is better than working alone. All right. Okay, uh, this is statement, okay, cat. How, how we transfer these uh, three points into this statement. <clears throat> okay, working in group is much more effective than working alone as it enables more input. The group can draw upon the various expertise of the team members and work can be completed faster. Okay, you can see that uh, all these three points is written are written in one sentence only and the sentence that's the sentence is called as this statement right okay this is what i expect you to write for your essay okay uh, you need to put this statement if there is no this statement of course uh, i will do marks for that right okay Okay, this is the practice, huh? uh, cat, the practice. Okay, uh, refer to sample test for, I'm not sure of the test, but uh, you can get uh, the practice after this. Okay, maybe I will give you a topic for you to write the, uh, the, the practice. Okay, for example, huh? the topic, the roles of media in educating public to reduce crime rates in Malaysia. Okay, what do you think? What are the rules of media in educating the public, public people community to reduce the crime rates? The crime rates like the crimes like uh, robbery, rape, uh, snatch theft and so on. Okay? okay, what's the rules of educating? Uh, how, how would media play their roles to educate the public? Okay, in order to reduce crime rates in Malaysia. Yeah, this is an uh, interesting topic. Okay, you can okay, uh, get into this topic. Actually, I, I have prepared one uh, the points. Okay, All right. Okay, the rules of media in, in educating public to reduce crime in Malaysia. 
okay may it can be okay uh, to educate public to be aware with the rest the possible crimes around them